We closed a round of NAFTA negotiations and the US Trade Representative Robert Lighthizer told us that there is progress being made and he was very hopeful at the same time things needed to move on more quickly. He was hoping things would accelerate. Our own Michael McKee is in Montreal for these negotiations. The dollar has been moving around a little bit versus the peso and of course the Canadian dollar. But Michael, what were the key takeaways for you from Robert Lighthizer's speech? Well, at least from the U.S. side, it appears that they made a little progress in the negotiations, but they haven't made friends. The U.S. is still the outlier in the negotiations. Uh, Lighthizer talked about the fact that this is the first negotiation where they got down to discussing some of the core issues, and he was pleased with that, but he rejected the Canadian suggestions, counterproposals to some of the U.S. red lines, particularly on auto content. The Canadians had suggested counting the intellectual value of software and computers put into cars these days. He said that wouldn't work. It could lead to fewer jobs in North America and particularly the United States. He also doesn't like their proposal on dispute resolution. So there's a long way to go, but the one good thing is he saw enough progress that they're going to keep talking and they do plan to meet in Mexico City sure. at the end of February. Briefly, Michael, the responses from the Canadian and the Mexican representatives, did they take what Robert Lighthizer was saying and, and agree or was, it, was there any tone of sort of dismissal? Well, they don't really agree. Uh, the Mexican economy minister, uh, Ojardo, talked about a lot of progress being made on the underlying treaty, the chapters that have to get done, the 29, uh, and that uh, progress had been made there. But Christian Freeland, the foreign minister of Canada, took pains to say they've never negotiated with anybody like the United States administration right now, that it's a very different sort of progress. They don't understand what the U.S. is getting at, but they're willing to keep talking.